We can head now straight to the Indian capital where our correspondent Mandakini Gallo is uh, standing by. Uh, Mandakini, first of all, what more do we know about the exact uh, circumstances surrounding this attack and why these police officers were targeted in this way? Well, uh, first of all, that death toll has now risen to uh, 42, and authorities here expect it will continue to rise uh, through the course of the day. Now, uh, the Indian Army and its paramilitary wings have been embroiled in a bitter battle with Pakistan-backed uh, militants in Kashmir for the last three decades. So attacks on the military are uh, fairly common. But yesterday's incident is the worst attack on security personnel in the region since the start of uh, that insurgency. Now, this kind of attack is also rare because in this case, uh, the militants used an improvised explosive device, whereas uh, in most attacks that we've seen in the last uh, two decades or so, they've always mounted attacks using firearms. Now, both India and Pakistan lay claim on the heavily uh, militarized Kashmir Valley, and it has been a bone of contention between the two uh, nuclear rivals ever since they first gained uh, independence back in 1947. Now, yesterday's attack has been claimed by the jaish e mohammad or the Army of Muhammad, a Pakistan-based militant group who circulated a video of the lone militant, uh, a local Kashmiri boy called Adil Ahmad Dar. In the video, he can be seen delivering his uh, last will and a photograph of him surrounded by guns and grenades. Now, the fact that the alleged uh, perpetrator was a local Kashmiri reflects a growing radicalization of local youths in a militancy that was uh, once dominated by Pakistani or Afghani fighters crossing the border. Now, Jaish-e Mohammed is a designated uh, terror group by the United Nations and, uh, and Britain, and it is alleged to have links to elements within the Pakistani government. The United States officially labeled the group a terrorist organization nearly two uh, decades ago. Now, back in 2017, Washington pushed the United uh, Nations Security Council to designate the group's leader, Masood Azhar, as a terrorist, but the move was uh, vetoed or blocked by China. So for now, uh, Azhar continues to live and operate freely from his uh, base in Pakistan. And as you can imagine, this is uh, a major bone of contention between uh, India and Pakistan. Now, Mandakini, as you were hinting there, the pressures, of course, are clearly piling on the Indian Prime Minister to do more to shore up security with those tensions now fraying. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, Prime Minister Modi was in Kashmir only 10 days ago, where in a strongly worded speech, he proclaimed that he would break the backbone of terror in the state. So, yes, he, is, uh, he will be under enormous uh, pressure to respond to this attack more so because he is seeking re-election in polls that are likely to begin uh, mid-March, in which 850 million uh, Indians will vote to choose the next government. Now, back in 2014, when he first came to power, one of his major campaign promises was a hardline approach to uh, militancy in Kashmir. In fact, the last time this particular group, jaish e Mohammed, uh, carried out an attack in Kashmir uh, in 2016, in which 19 soldiers were killed, India carried out an inc uh, incursion into Pakistani territory uh, uh, to destroy uh, militant uh, bases. Uh, they call this the surgical strikes. And ironically, a major Bollywood film, uh, widely seen as a propaganda film that celebrates the government's uh, achievement against terrorism, is in uh, the theaters this week. So yes, Indians uh, will be expecting a response. Uh, the prime minister said yesterday that the sacrifice of security personnel will not go in vain. Uh, the foreign ministry put out a strongly worded statement last night slamming Pakistan for allowing uh, Masood Azhar to operate with, in, with impunity. But as far as retaliatory action goes, we'll have to wait and watch. The prime minister has uh, already met with his closest uh, national security advisors and is expected to meet his entire cabinet soon to discuss this issue. Mandakini Gallot, uh, our correspondent there in uh, New Delhi. Thank you very much for that update. Moving on.